much. Back here, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner says the TARP will be extended until October 3rd, 2010. It was set to expire at the end of this year. In a letter to top lawmakers, Geithner also said the Treasury expects $175 billion of the TARP to be repaid by the end of 2010. Also, the House of Representatives getting ready to vote this week on landmark legislation aimed at preventing another financial crisis and taxpayer bailout. One of the most contentious parts of the legislation is creating a new consumer financial protection agency. Congress Congressman Keith Ellison is a Democratic representative from Minnesota, a member of the House Financial Services Committee. He joins us now. Weighing nice in against a consumer protection agency is Randy Nogabauer, Republican from Texas, who also serves on the House Financial Services Committee. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Congressman Ellison, let me start with you. Um, what exactly are we trying to protect the consumer from here, and how are we going to do it? Give me the specifics. We're trying to protect the consumer from deceptive practices, from excessive fees, from changes in rates and terms without any, without any notice or forewarning. We're trying to protect the consumer uh, from being uh, subjected to uh, a long, voluminous, hard to understand uh, consumer, con consumer finance contracts. And so that's the aim. That's the goal. And I think we're, we're going to be there. Congressman Nagabauer, uh, uh, you know, those sound like laudable goals. It's hard to say that that uh, that doesn't sound good. What's wrong with that? Well, we can accomplish all of those without creating this huge new bureaucracy that's going to kill jobs, going to increase the cost of credit, and going to begin to limit the choices of consumers. Uh, as Tim, Secretary Geithner said in his letter today, that it's difficult for small businesses to get credit, and this uh, new massive uh, credit czar uh, is going to be but the one that chooses and picks what kind of financial products that uh, are available to families and small businesses, and we just think that's not good policy. Yeah. Congressman Ellison, I mean, that's one of the things that I worry about is that we're going to create a two-tiered credit system where there's going to be products that are deemed, you know, um, too expensive, too difficult to understand. The average consumer can't have them, and then you'll see other people that can have them. I and mean, we've already seen things like that with hedge funds. You have to be an educated investor. Are you worried about creating a two-tier system where there's just a bunch of things that aren't, you know, accessible to a no, lot of people? I'm worried about predatory lending. I'm worried about predatory credit cards. I'm worried about uh, credit cards where the, uh, the credit card lender will simply cut your line of credit uh, in half without any warning to you. I'm worried about these kind of things, P fees, penalties, uh, deceptive uh, and, and unclear uh, and hidden uh, information, small print. That's what I think we need to keep the, uh, keep the focus on. The reality here is that the reason we don't have small businesses getting the lending and the credit that they need is not because we're trying to protect consumers. It's because of other important elements of the economy that we need to focus on. But remember, this crisis started in the consumer sector. It started because consumers didn't have enough protection and we just let the market do whatever it wanted. I think it's time that we put a stop to some of these things and I think this CFPA is the right ticket. Congressman Ellison, is that why it started, or did it start because people bought things that they couldn't afford and bought houses they couldn't afford? I mean, is it the fault of the lenders that we got into this mess? Well, I, well, you know, what, what lenders are you talking about? The non-bank lenders that uh, told people that they that offered people, pro uh, for example, mortgage products that uh, were were the where the, the, they were hard to understand, where they didn't explain the teaser rate and that there would be an adjustment that they couldn't afford, uh, and that there were no doc, low doc loans, and they were told they don't have to prove income, and where those same, uh, some mortgage originators were given a financial incentive to push that same product, I think that it's hard to blame the consumer in that situation. Congressman Nogabauer, respond to that. Well, I, I think uh, you started off to what I think is that uh, we had, uh, there's a lot of different reasons there, but basically we had a situation where the interest rates were low, uh, individuals, companies, and governments were borrowing and spending and borrowing and spending, uh, and uh, basically many people were borrowing yeah. money that they weren't capable of paying back. There, there's a lot of reasons that we got uh, into this situation, but the bottom line is, is that this massive uh, new inter of uh, the federal government into the credit markets is going to be very punitive for our country and our economy moving forward. And that's the reason that the Republican alternative just said, you know what, uh, let's uh, let the uh, uh, regulators yeah. regulate and let's make sure that these companies but, are capitalized appropriately and uh, let's let the free market system uh, work, work through this situation. I, but Congressman Nogobar, I mean, I think we can all agree that everyone is to blame in this and everyone act bad, acted poorly. Um, but. You know, you say we don't need any more bureaucracy in order to move forward to have this not happen again. We must need something. 
Well, we had regulators who weren't doing their job, and so is the answer that you go create another regulatory agency, or do you make sure that the regulators do the job that they were supposed to do? I fall on the side that, you know what, if we had people that weren't doing their job, everything that Mr. Ellison said is already against the law, and so evidently we had some people that weren't enforcing the law. Yeah. But, but creating this huge new bureaucracy and cr putting someone as a credit czar to uh, begin to limit the choices for uh, people and types of credit that are available to them is, is not the answer. Okay, it's an important and tough issue to tackle. We appreciate both of your insight on it. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having us. Up next on Street Signs, Kramer. He's ready to stop.